G'day everyone, um, Nick Bowdish here. Today I want to talk about things that I can't change and how caught up I get in trying to change those things instead of being accepting of them. Um, and it reminds me of a story, I remember seeing a thing once, there was a hearing impaired fella had married a hearing impaired lady and they'd had children and the children didn't have any hearing impairment. And they, this journalist was talking about their life and, and stuff. And he said to the, to the father, do you want to be cured now? You know, you could get a cochlear implant or you could get things to make you not have that hearing impairment. You know, why don't you do that? And he said, because then everything I've worked for and everything I've built and everything I've created in my own name, in my own likeness, my marriage, my relationships, my parenting, everything is around the fact, or includes the fact, that I have a hearing impairment. And if I changed that, I would be someone else and wouldn't be necessarily be the same person, the same father, the same husband, and so on. And I think about this a lot. Um, a couple of days ago, if you follow my page, you might have seen this a couple of days ago, somebody posted a message to me saying that they could cure my depression and anxiety and my mental illness basically with their wonder drug which was some multi-level marketing thing that I had to sign some people up before I would be cured by it but the thing that really rattled me about it was the cured word you know that that she said or she implied that I would really really want to be cured that I would really really want to be rid of these thoughts and these feelings and this stuff that goes into my head. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I take medication, um, two lots of medication for depression, anxiety, and PTSD to help me sleep at night and not have nightmares and help me be a bit more functioning through the day and, and stuff like that. And I, I take those not because they're going to cure me or because I want them to cure me, but because I, I just want to be relieved of some of the symptoms of the day to day that makes it hard to live day to day. And so there's, there's two different things there for me. There's, I want to manage my symptoms because I want to be productive and I want to be functioning. I want to be good to my kids and my wife and I want to be happy to be around and stuff like that. But I don't want to be cured because I feel like if those things were taken away from me, then it's really taking a lot away from me. You know, it, it's... a the obsessive thinking, the, 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 the mild craziness that I have, that, that all that stuff going on is actually part of me. It's a really big part of me. And the people who are in my life now over a certain period of time, they know it and, and they accept it and they, they're okay with me being a bit mad because they see the bigger picture. And if I was to fix any of those little things along the way, Maybe I would lose those people. Maybe, maybe I would lose my livelihood. Maybe I'd lose my creativity. Maybe I'd lose my kindness. You know, a lot of the different things I think may or may not go if I lose the condition that's in my head. And, and you know, I, I don't think of it as, as a debilitating disease. And, and I'm able to talk about it openly because, for me, it's, it's an illness that I have. It's something I live with. I don't suffer with it. I live with it. Just like someone who has diabetes, I've said this before, someone, some people have diabetes, some people have rheumatoid arthritis, some people you know, live with debilitating and, and difficult and annoying things every day, illnesses every day. For me, that illness is just in my head. It just happens to be. It happens not to be diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis or whatever. It happens to be a mental illness. So I need to accept the, the things I can't change, the stuff that I cannot change, I need to accept that that's the case. I need to also accept that, you know, if I keep pushing and pushing and if I keep chasing a cure, then right now there's a really good chance that it's going to end up in tears because there is no cure at this point. I can manage my symptoms. I can dumb it all down. I can turn the volume down on all of it. But right now I can't fix it. So, I have to accept that I can't fix it, A, and B, I have to ask myself, if I could fix it, 
would I? Because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure <laughs> that I don't want it cured. I don't want it cured. I don't want a cure for it. I just want to live with it better. I would love to hear your thoughts on this if you have any opinion or if, you're, if you are living with the same thing and you, know, you would love a cure. I'd love to hear that point of view too. Can I ask you to do two things? If, the, if you feel like this is adding value to anyone in your network or anyone in your life or you feel like somebody else might be interested or whatever, please click on share down the bottom here and share it out to your network. I'd love that. And the second thing I'd love you to do is just leave a comment if you think I'm completely wrong or completely right or you've made, maybe, maybe you're thinking differently about it now or whatever, then that would be great. Um, some feedback would be good just so I know that I'm sort of on the right track and producing the right sort of content for the people who are interested in it. So... Hey Warren, um, thanks mate, yeah, always, always raw and honest, I think that um, the more raw and honest and authentic I can be, the better I can be for people and for myself, mostly, selfishly. So, I want to know, if you're living with the same thing I'm living with, would you want a cure? Do you desperately seek a cure? Or have you reached some level of acceptance, which I haven't <laughs> yet, which I'm aiming to. I hope you have a really good day today. Um, I hope you can find some kindness, spend it on someone else, but mostly spend it on yourself. And have a great Thursday wherever you are. See ya.